What's up, guys? Okay, all I need is 10 minutes of your time for this workout. This is a real straightforward core workout. All you need is a stability ball as well as a dumbbell. For all of those of you who are inside of my app and training with me, you guys will see a brand new category in there, Fire in 15. Those are just 15-minute workouts, guys, and they are categorized by equipment and or impact. A lot of them will be full body because we're going to get the most effective workout if we're going to be working your entire body in just 15 minutes. So definitely don't forget to check it out. The app uh, website and link are in the description below and you will have a chance to get a week free and give it a try and see if you guys like it. If you guys are here, love my my philosophies on training. If you've been around my YouTube for a while, I think you guys will really love my app as well. So definitely go check it out. Um, but here we are going into our third exercise right now. And I'm actually giving you guys three options for this weighted knee tuck. This is one reason I do love YouTube is that during the video and I'm recording this video, I can actually be like, okay, this is definitely more difficult. What can I give to my community that is a little bit easier? Okay. And so this is one thing I do love about YouTube. This is your second option. Okay. This one's actually more difficult than the first option because that dumbbell is only in one arm. Whereas this first option you had it, you're, you were carrying it in both hands. Okay. So if neither of those work for you guys, drop the weight completely and just perform a uh, body weight knee tucks. This will be a very core, um, cardio based exercise, but you guys got to keep that core nice and tight. <clears throat> All right. Planks are one of my favorite exercises in to incorporate into my core workouts or sometimes any other workout, um, towards the end of the, workout, right? So um, one thing I will say that if any of you guys are expecting, if if, this, if you're on your, on your prenatal journey or your postnatal journey, you know, that those first three to six months, I do discourage planks. Planks are very intense for your core. Um, they do require a lot of um, muscle activation. And during those times of um, your journey, prenatal or postnatal, your core is very vulnerable. Um, so I do discourage the pl and f planks in any form um, during those times. Cat-cow stretch are great. There are some breathing techniques where you're going to be on in a quadruple position. So I thought I'd share that piece of advice to you guys um, while you're here. We're going to finish off with the side plank dip. <clears throat> with the reach under okay now this one you are able to also uh, lay on your elbow if that's more comfortable or if you have a bosu ball or something to just rest your elbow on so you have a little bit more uh, elevation to your upper body but these are definitely a great finisher and you do you want to keep your core nice and engaged exhale on the hard part which is when you're lifting your body up, you're lifting your hips up to the sky and then reaching below. So I hope you guys loved this core workout and we're gonna get right into the rest of the YouTube. What's up guys? All right, we just finished uh, basically onboarding a new employee. Really excited about it, um, but it's funny. <laughs> These are boxes, they're not samples. Um, one of our small batches just arrived to our house. So I am actually trying on one of our newest pieces, guys. Um, this is brand new material. It's a, so nice. It's like a slinky terry material. I don't know if you can actually really see it. It's not the best lighting. Um, super kind of like very like kind of oversized, kind of just like a throw on kind of crop top. It is pretty croppy, but now granted, look at, look at, it does, I mean, honestly, because it's just like so loose, it, doesn't even show my stomach, but it definitely, you know how we do crops, we do very modest crops. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so this is one of the new shirts it's coming in three colors for our next huge drop in March. So we're just letting you guys know that, um, but it has like this nice, 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 nice wide uh, neckline. Um, so you can always do the off the shoulder because you guys know I'm like an off the shoulder kind of lover, um, or you can completely keep it 
up there and it has just this nice wide neck. Um, it's really cool. You're gonna see these features of the material um, that's where you can actually be utilizing the fabric um, both ways on this shirt. So you guys are absolutely gonna love it. Like it's just very flowy. It is so comfortable guys. And I think it really pairs so well with <sighs> any legging. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Cause again, a little bit more behind the scenes, our small batch normally doesn't come to me. Um, and with the small batch, what we do with the small batch is the rest is usually sh shipped by sea to help save on cost. Um, and then, but our small batch tends to be one that a, we inspect the products, make sure, but then also those are the ones we use for marketing, our photo shoots, sending to our spokesmodels, et cetera. So that we are all ready to go once the bulk comes in and you guys get it into your hands. So just a little behind the scenes. What's up guys? Um, all right, so I just dropped the boys off at daycare. Going to the post office to drop off some uh, business letters. Um, and now heading back to the house to uh, the designers are coming over and we're gonna be going over a lot of fits for July. Um, hopefully we'll be able to finalize some. Um, ASAP so that we can get moving on those and we don't and we can stay on time stay on track that would be great all right guys so I figured I would give you a little bit more behind the scenes of one of our design days um, during the week um, these are always jam-packed with a variety of things including the fits which you will see here um whether it's the initial fit or we are five to ten revisions in it varies it varies across the board from manufacturer to manufacturer from material to material to just a new design um and so it does vary um we want we are striving to be about a year ahead um at least from the concept phase and we are slowly getting there which is really exciting um we are already working on trends and trend concepts and color palettes for the fall and into holiday one of the challenges that i faced in the be the few first few years of patula which if you guys have been around since the beginning you guys knew that we had an elena one elena two elena three um so there's been variations um across a specific legging or mainly leggings um and it was driving me insane i absolutely hated it i was trying everything i could to try to make the materials as consistent as possible especially because they were custom made um but it was still really difficult but i am so happy to say that our current materials we have found consistency we have created consistency from specific techniques that our fabric suppliers are doing and it is so exciting um, it has definitely given me a lot more confidence in in inventory but also like creating collections a year out I think that's really exciting and that's exactly where we would want to be Another huge win, I feel like, especially for these July fits and this dress specifically, this is a very technical item, def a technical garment, and this was actually our first sample. So I want to give credit to our design team because the tech pack and the accuracy of this item, we are very close. It's definitely not perfect. There's a few adjustments, um, things that we definitely need to make, but for being such a technical item, we were, I was pleasantly surprised with how close we were. It's like she starts the flare in the middle of the calf and it should like start from the back of the knee mm -hmm. and like taper down. Just because I think I have like a little bit of a thinner thigh, mm -hmm. widen this definitely mm -hmm. than the rest. Mm -hmm. But then I had her just maybe just pull a little, just a smidgen more in the waist. Mm -hmm. But I think overall everything else fits. And then length. Mm -hmm. 